Coach, impressive come from behind win tonight. Joanna, she's the new school record holder for made three point shots. Kennedy got 500 rebounds tonight and set a new career high for rebounds. Just overall, your thoughts on the victory? Um, well, gosh, I'm really pleased with our, our grit and our determination in the second half. We, we played a really, really bad second quarter, um, lost a little confidence in ourselves and, um, you know, kind of went in the locker room and we we could have had a kind of a pity party and, you know, not just put our heads in the sand. But, um, you know, these guys challenged themselves and they came out and they, they made some adjustments and they kind of dug in and... Um, Yawana started to, to make shots. I mean, we see her do this every day. You know, she's, I'm really happy for her. Um, she's a phenomenal shooter and a, a great teammate and great player. And I'm so fortunate to be able to coach her and really happy that she was able to have this success. And then, and that, you know, that kind of lit, lit a fire, I think, under us and helped us be a little bit better defensively. Kennedy's been doing a fantastic job this year rebounding. She's improved um, tremendously since last year. And I think her confidence has grown. She's been a, Huge asset for us. I thought, uh, you know, Jasmine Gales played really, really good defense on on Padilla, who's a, a great player. Um, I like her a lot. And uh, I thought Cami Fulcher um, really came in off the bench and was intelligent and was tough. Got some really good rebounds. Played good defense. Played within herself on the offensive end of the floor. So, um, and Jess provided great floor leadership. It was a nice combination out there. I know they played the majority of the second half. Um, and they did a, good, did a really good job of figuring out a way to get a win when we weren't playing at our best. Now, halfway about the third quarter, neither side was really able to get much scoring. Then Ioana goes on a 12-0 run on, your, on her own to get mm -hmm. you back into the game. Just even hearing the other team's bench, they were doing everything they can to try to stop it, but there was just nothing that could be done. What, what does it mean for a team to just have their superstar player just go on a run like that? I mean, that's why she's a, you know, that's why she's an all-conference player. That's why she led the league in scoring the last couple of years. She's, like I said, you know, the, we get to see her do that, you know, lots of times in practice. You know, we know she's capable of making, you know, shots like that and making consecutive shots and making some shots that make you scratch your head, you know, but we've seen all that before as her coaches and teammates. And, you know, obviously opponents don't get to see that every day and uh, fans don't get to see that. So I'm really pleased and happy for her that she was able to play, you know, kind of the way she's capable of playing. And I'm sure that has to, you know, be a huge confidence uh, boost for her as well. I don't think she felt like she'd been shooting real well and been a little bit stagnant offensively. But, um, you know, she's the kind of kid that can explode like that and, and get you eight three-pointers and, you know, in a matter of, you know, two quarters, really. So really happy for her. And it did definitely um, gave our team some confidence and gave us a spark to be able to get back in the game and, and ultimately win. Kennedy mentioned that you guys as a staff as a whole have really emphasized the importance of rebounding and the importance for this team particularly being undersized at times. Five games in the season, I'd say four of those games, you rebounded pretty well as a team. Just what are your thoughts on the improvement and the style from this season from previous years? Well, I think we have a long ways to go. You know, we need to get better production out of out of our posts as a whole. We need Deb to be to be better. We need Lauren to be better. We need to get some things out of Marina, um, even though she's a freshman. Um, but I think you know Kennedy has certainly taken to heart what we've emphasized with rebounding. I think Cami um, is a year older and a year better, and I think our guards are are pitching in in that respect. I think they all understand the importance of it. But you know, we we need better production from our entire post lineup and. You know that's going to be our challenge as a coaching staff to figure out how to how to get the best out of the players that we have. We have good players. We need to figure out how to how to play to their strengths and get them to be um, important pieces for us as we move forward. Looking ahead to this weekend, first back back of the season, Friday and Saturday, hosting the Thanksgiving tournament. What are you looking for from the team against two teams that you're not too familiar with? Yeah, I think you know. Again, we're excited to have all these home games. It's really been a. a kind of a bonus for us to be able to play at home so much and have a certain comfort level on your home court. But, um, you know, we'll prepare this week. And, you know, our again, I think it's going to be really important how our, you know, how Deb, how Lauren, how Marina kind of respond um, to not getting to play a ton of minutes today. And, you know, we need them. We need them as we move forward. So I think these next two games um, we play, we're really going to try to emphasize, um, you know, how to make those guys better, how to make those guys fit into our offensive and defensive scheme, and, and just look for ways to continue to improve. You know, we've got it's a long season, but we've got a long ways to go, lots of things to work on.